So earlier this week, I was doing an actuator on a control valve that was stuck. I couldn't get the actuator off. So I'm going to show you a quick tip that um, if you ever run into that situation, you know, this might help you get the actuator off because I'd say probably one out of every 20 actuators I do actually get stuck and I can't get it off the valve. And, and this happens to everybody. I've seen guys try to cut the actuator in half or pull the whole gear section out and try to manually run the gear in and yeah, all that works but 99.9% .9 of the time I've got a better way that um, it, it's easier and I think it works better so let's get a little closer look at the valve and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about so I pulled the control valve out of the machine for you so that you could have a better look at you know what I'm talking about if you've never done an actuator on your Bobcat machine um, th this is what they look like they, they bolt to your valve and the one on the bottom we say this is the bottom of the valve. You know, your valve's kind of usually tilted in your machine like this. But at the very bottom, the first one, this is going to be your lift actuator, always. And then the one above that is going to be the tilt. And so, this is an awesome tool for doing actuators. It's a quarter drive, 3 16 Allen. And I like the long ones because it, it actually sticks beyond the actuator and really helps you know in, in getting these actuators off so let's take a look at um, what it what a normal actuator would would removal would look like I would take out these two screws and then we back this collar off and what I'll do is I'll just grab the actuator and I will pull it out and we're extending the actuator, we're actually spinning the gears in there and that gives us access to our pin right here. So I'll just take a pick or something and we can push the pin out and that's how our actuator comes off. See the pin just goes through the hole and through the valve and uh, that's what locks it on. But if you can't get access to that pin, that's where we get kind of a, into a problem or an issue. So let's take out the tilt actuator. Okay, so now I'm going to pull on this one. And see, it's actually pulling the spool out. It did not come out far enough for me to get my pin out. So I can pry on this and hammer and it just won't come out. So at that point, what do you do? Well, what I do, well, what other guys have done, I've seen in the shop, they've actually cut this into the actuator off and then just take it apart like that. But when you're in the machine, sometimes that's really difficult to do. So we're gonna take this plug apart and get to our motor wires. There's five wires on this plug. You're gonna have two on one side, a red and a black, and that's gonna be your motor drive wires. These other three that are on the other side, that's going to be your sensor wires. So we're going to, hell, you could even cut these, but I just like to pull the pins out. Inside the plug, we just pull out the lock, and you'll see the little tabs in here. I know it's hard to see on camera, but there's little tabs that we just back off, and we can pull the motor wires right out. So now we got black and red motor wires. So now I'm just going to take my tool battery off my Milwaukee and I'm going to electrically drive that actuator off that pin. So 12 volt battery, 18 volt battery, it don't matter at this point because the actuator is bad. We're changing it anyways. We just want to drive it to where we can get that pin off. So whether you got a jump box, whatever battery you have, this should work. So I'm going to put my leads just on the 12 volt side of the battery. That was the wrong direction. The motor still turns, but the actual ball screw and the gears, something's in a bind in there, so I couldn't pull it off. So see, electrically, I was able to drive that off, and now I have access to my pin, and I can remove my actuator. So just a quick tip on the control valve. You know, I, I think if you have a fleet of Bobcats, or you work in a shop, or you own your own, I think it's inevitable that one day you're going to have an actuator go bad, and there's a possibility that actuator's not going to extend on you. So. Quick tip to help you get out of a bind. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.